this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. Heavyweight title fight is upon us. We'll be long now, folks. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> round is underway no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight we'll see if he can get that jab going early look for him to circle on the outside use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms his misses are entertaining oh big damaging knees here to the body nice side kick Kick to the body now, that one will land. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, beautiful counter on the uppercut, perfectly timed. Body kick lands. So more output at least in the early going. the reach advantage off the top of the show certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Upper cut to the head. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Trying to pass the 
Oh, he did a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponents can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Just missed with the left there. Lunges forward with a left there. Good job. He's in trouble. Big left hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Sidekick, well done. Under two minutes to go. Nicely done with the kick there. as they pull apart. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got hurt bad. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He could find one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. Now, he's tasked with trying to find that side of the Gets his close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Final minute of round one. Body shot there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh my goodness. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly oh. Oh. Beautiful kick lands there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands a strike there. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Out of range with that one. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything. Throwing both sides with conviction. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, nice little right hook there. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everyone has oh, Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, oh he is hurting for sure. After round one, a little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice straight punch there. Under two minutes to go. Lee gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, big elbow. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, nice. Oh, just misses with the kick. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, that's the... Oh, he's hurt bad. Nice punch to the head. So the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it. But of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately friendly... Well, DC 
see headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Back to the overhand right. Not there. Oh! Wow. Strong roundhouse kick there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fight and you see what type of effect it's starting to take on and whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused about where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as you go forward. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage and Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Nice one. Oh. Big right hand. Oh, beautiful combination. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Unable to land with that punch. All right, well, that blow is busseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, Big shots being landed on both sides here. Slips. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Jab up top by Lee. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up because he's gonna have to the kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Again. Oh, you oh, got him again. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You've doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's, oh, he's hurt bad. did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Beautiful body kick. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, the high kick gets home. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing huh. the game. There's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now.
All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, it was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. There slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you want. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, nice. Misses with the left hook. It ain't to Kempe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, add that to his highlight wheel. The wheel kick is good. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand with a huge strike lands there, DC. And then back shot. Now we need to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys have laid it all out on the line. I wonder now who's going to be the first one to take a backward step and almost concede. Just over two minutes to go. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big head kick. Get right here. Lee's able to land another strike right there. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? I think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he some chances to end this fight. Lee's tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time, and you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lim. Well, that's one way to take advantage of an edge and reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. The fighters separate. Checks that leg kick. Oh, man, you gotta credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. Yeah, it's hard to look at. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. Seconds 
seconds left. And he caught the kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. Another five minutes coming up. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Be aggressive. Don't be stupid. Keep your hands up. You ready to fight? You ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who spoke and goes down first. And just misses with that big right hand. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is as, that is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Two shots there. Well, this is getting hard to watch. Oh, my God. He's got him hurt here. Big right hand. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, nice hook. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body shots. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Under three minutes now to go round five. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Oh, boy, look at that gas. Oh, Superman punch lands. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to take down that pitch. Beautiful block there.
Down the stretch we come, final round, and what a fight, what a performance on both sides. They'll be feeling it tomorrow, but unbelievable will and fortitude on the split. I mean, this is what we as fight fans love, to see two fighters out there battered and bruised, bloody, have been in an absolute war, but neither of them willing to take a step back and give up. I don't know who's going to win this fight, but I do know it. I am very happy that I was able to call him. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh! All right, 45 seconds now to go all the way. There it is again. Look at that. Right back. Right back. Fighters back to their feet now. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Monster. Judge two scores it, 49-46, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week.